In the previous video, we learned about the StyleSheet API for styling components in React Native. In this video, let's explore how we can apply multiple styles to a component. To begin, we'll add two boxes within our container view. View component with text, light blue box, duplicate this, and change the text to light green box. If we look at the two devices, we can see the text from the two boxes, but they don't resemble a box in any way. Let's add some styles to fix this. Inside the StyleSheet API object, below the container key, we'll add another key. Light blue box, and this is an object. Let's set background color to light blue, width 100, height 100, and padding 10. Now we can use this style for our view component. So on the first nested view component, add the style prop and set it to styles.lightbluebox. Let's repeat this process for the light green box as well. We'll copy the styles, change light blue to light green, and set the background color to light green. On the second nested view component, we'll specify the style prop and set its value to styles.lightgreenbox. If we take a look at the UI, we can see that the two boxes are now displayed as expected. Everything works great, but there is room for improvement. There are common styles shared between the light blue box and the light green box. Can we extract these shared styles and reuse them in React Native? Absolutely. Let's refactor the styles and see how. We're going to start off with a key called box and extract width, height, and padding into this new box. We will then change light blue box to light blue background and have just the background color set to light blue. Similarly, light green background with background color set to light green. Now we have separated the common styles from the colors. The light blue box is a combination of box with light blue background, while the light green box is a combination of box and light green background. But the question is, how do we specify multiple styles for a component? Well, we achieve that using an array of styles. So for the light blue box, we use an array as the value to the style prop, and we specify styles dot box comma styles dot light blue background for the light green box once again we specify an array styles dot box comma styles dot light green background if we now take a look at the two devices we can see the two boxes are still rendering as expected light blue and light green. The styles, however, are written in a much more organized manner. One important point to note is that when merging different styles, the last style in the array takes precedence. So even if we add a background color, pink, to the box style, will continue to render with their respective colors. However, if we change the order in the array, so that styles.box is the last element in the array. We can see that the box color is now pink instead of light blue. When merging the background color from the two styles, the value from the last element in the array takes precedence. In this case, it is background color pink from the box styles. To summarize, you can specify multiple styles using the array syntax. When merging styles, the value from the last style in the array takes precedence. 
All right, thank you for watching. If you're enjoying the content, please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video.